Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make an LED light panel sandwich from an LED TV. So this one here, this panel here, a sandwich from a broken LED TV. And it's got uh, a lot of LED lights. And uh, it has to be an uh, LED TV because only LED TV has backlights like this that use LED lights. The older LCD TV uses fluorescent tube. It looks like this, very thin, thin tubes, and uh, it's not LED, so it has to be LED. And um, the TV was broken, the screen was broken, but the, the backlight is still good. And uh, I already made a, uh, a video previously to show you uh, how to power the entire panel. That's what it looks like inside here. So this panel here has uh, LED strips and I already removed one up here and it looks like this and um, there are 10 strips and um, each one requires 26 volt DC to power and uh, I already wired them in parallel. If you want to watch that video, just, uh, click on the link below. But this panel here is uh, a little bit too big for me. It's about four feet long and uh, two and a half feet wide. And it's pretty clumsy to carry around. So today I'm going to use something different. Um, I'm going to use a broken, another broken uh, LCD monitor. This one here is. Um, this one here is a monitor that's broken. Uh, it's the older LCD uh, monitor. And that's why I got this tube here. It came from this monitor. And um, I will remove everything here. And it actually, it actually has some cool thing in it. It's got a, a plexiglass, very thick plexiglass panel very nice and clear panel, see-through panel. Got some plastic piece panel here, pretty nice. And uh, I can use it for something else, but um, my goal today is to use the LED strip. I'm going to remove all the strips uh, from the bigger panel. I'm going to stick it on here like so. So all of them are going to be up here. So I can make it more uh, a smaller package and make it more portable and I can bring it anywhere. It's easier to carry around than the this big panel. So let's get to it. Right, so here they are. I just removed the strips from the bigger panel. Now it's going to fit into this smaller uh, LCD uh, monitor. And uh, all I have to do next is just uh, put double sided tape and just uh, tape it on like so. And then I'm going to solder all the wire together. That should be done. I've just finished uh, putting in the uh, LED sticks with the double sided tapes, and they seem to hold back, hold up uh, pretty well. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't look symmetrical. There's a gap on the bottom. Um, I want the light to be as tall as possible, so I put all the lights on the top. Uh, you know, when you have a light, you don't, you want it as high as possible, right? You don't want it to to be low on the ground. It's uh, it's not very effective that way. So the panel doesn't look symmetrical, but it, uh, it's functional. And let me show you the uh, <coughs> the wiring I have here. So the way I do this is I, uh, I use a tapping wire, the, uh, double sided tape, and then uh, put the tapping wire on it to to get it to stick it to the uh, the panel, and then I solder it. 
the wire onto the tapping wire like so it's pretty easy to do and this is the tapping wire it's a tangle mess right now uh, but this is used for uh, making solar panels and I got uh, some leftover and before I thought about this one I used this metal wire this is just a, uh, a metal wire and it is quite hard to put solder on it let's see if I can zoom in so you can see it's quite small anyway it's very hard to put solder on this thing and it's very time consuming and I also try copper wire copper wire is not even better it takes a heat better but look at this what a mess it takes a long time to put in the the solder so uh, I just remember I got some tab wire and these are excellent it's perfect for this because it's got it's got solder in in the uh, in the wire already and um, all you got to do is put solder onto the wire first right on the tip here of the wire first and just put it on here like so put the solder soldering iron on top to heat it up and it will just stick on like so very good and fast and effective all right so I've sold all the positive wires together now let me show you how I do for the the other the negative wires so let's just use double sided tape and let's see how long it is like that Sure that it stick well. All right. So now I'm not gonna go anywhere. Next. I solder all the wire together. So I got the positive wire in. Now it's the negative. Let's put it in like that. Get some solder. Ow, it's hot. There you go. Well, oh, it's quite hot. The wire is too skinny. Get my finger hot. But there you go. It's very fast and effective. All right, so I am officially done. So all the negative wire going to this bar here, and the positive going to this bar here, and uh, I have installed the uh, battery inside the monitor now. It's inside here, and um, I also installed a switch. On the back here and uh, now it's run on battery power so let's turn it off very extremely bright Ooh, I have to look away from the monitor because it's so bright and uh, let me show you uh, 
the way I power it, uh, I have these batteries, 18650 batteries, six of these, six of these, this, this, this one, each one is four volts, so six of these is 24 volts, and at full charge is around 25, a little bit over 25 volts, the panel requires 26 volts, but I think 24, 24, 25 is good enough. Uh, you want to, you don't want to max out the output because it's going to heat up the uh, the LED, and uh, it will uh, decrease the uh, longevity, the life of the uh, LED. So lower voltage a little bit would uh, it might be better. And um, there's another way that you can power this uh, LED is I can use an Apple power adapter. This is the uh, power adapter from the Apple iBook computer and it's uh, got a broken tip so I cut the wire and then uh, it's, it's still produce voltage it's just uh, the, the, the connector is broken so I cut the wire and uh, you know, I can just solder it into here, like so, maybe down here, and just use it, uh, you know, if I uh, want to plug it in, and let me just plug it in and uh, just show you that I can power this adapter. Alright, so I got my adapter plugged in, I got it hooked up here and uh, ready to go. Let's turn it on. Stay away from the light, it's very bright. There you go. So, being powered by the uh, Apple iBook uh, adapter, so that way I can plug it in and you know, conserve the battery. And again, um, each LED requires 3.7 volts. Let me zoom in so you can see it. 3.7 to 3.8 volts. And each each strip here got seven LED. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you take 3.7 times seven is uh, 25.9. And they are in series, so um, that's how I come up with the, uh, the 26 volts. And then they are all in parallel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine strips in parallel. So that's why all the negative on one one side, on the positive on one side. And uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do, and the the light is extremely bright it's very very bright and it doesn't cost me anything to make this light so extremely cheap and efficient all right folks and uh, that's all I have for now and uh, if you want to watch the other video uh, that I made before uh, uh, just click on the link below and uh, it was the uh, the panel salvaged from the uh, LED TV and uh, that was before I removed these strips and uh, that's all I have for now until next time thank you for watching